Okay, finding the right setup for you. So how your hips move, how your upper body moves, how your shoulders moves, uh, how your wrists move and your forearms all can factor into the way you set up. Today I'm just gonna talk uh, neutral setup, making it as neutral as I can. Uh, it's hard to customize it for everyone without seeing your motion or seeing your assessment, but this is a good way to start. So I would, I would typically go both feet slightly flared. Again, depending on hip ranges, that's gonna change. Uh, arms sort of relaxed and hanging from the shoulder straight down. I'm looking at sort of the creases in the elbows. Uh, again, this is neutral, neutral. I'm gonna have those creases point pretty close to the hips. Some players, the lead elbow will be out a little bit more depending on uh, their grip and, and their shot uh, desired shot shape. Uh, from down the line when I do that, so I'm going feet slightly flared, a small amount of knee flex, and then I'm trying to manage my rib position here as I'm going down, making sure the space between the top rib and my hip maintains as I go into that first move down. I don't want to crunch too much. I don't want to extend too much. I'm trying to go into the middle position. Again, this is neutral, neutral, not customized for you. But if you're like, how is a good place to start from and then adjust, this is a good place to start. So rib position is gonna stay neutral. Ribs are back away from the ball, not pushed out into the ball. And my shoulders are relaxed, my head is relaxed, and I feel some nice length through my spine. Uh, and then I'm creating a good amount of space from my shoulders. My ears to my shoulders are here. I don't see this left shoulder really high or my lead shoulder high or my trail shoulder high. I also don't see when my elbows are in that position, so if this shoulder is out forward, you see that elbow point back at the camera, we want that elbow to be a little bit more under for the neutral setup position with that good uh, sort of rib and core position here. So it got nice, tall, if I sort of rock toes to heels, I feel the weight close to the middle of my feet, balls of the feet. If I go left and right, I'm gonna set slightly more lead side for the irons for me. That allows me to move into my trail side. If I, if I camp back here on this back hip, when I start to go, I'm gonna to wanna to go the opposite. So I might get going to my front side, then try to get to my back side. So again, depending on, on you, but I think for irons, it's really easy to start a little lead and then move into that back foot. So into that nice neutral setup. Chest position is pointed just, I would say, at the front edge of the ball or the back part of the ball, depending on what your desired shot shape is. We don't want it pointed way up ahead or way behind. That would mean the chest is really rotated. So I'm going again, neutral, neutral. Hands at a good spot, just relaxed, hanging from my shoulders, good balance. And then from there, just trying to make a nice natural movement off the ball. So that will give you some baseline on the setup. Uh, some of the upper body cues that I'm looking at, neck position, shoulder position, arm position, foot position, sort of working down the chain, give you some things to start with. And then again, for, for each person, the setup could be a little bit different depending on how you move, your desired shot shape, what you're comfortable with. So make sure you're okay adapting it, but that's a great spot to start from a neutral, neutral setup position. Um, if you need any more help or guidance for your game, make sure you check the description below. Uh, I've been helping players all over, loving that process. Got a couple more spots left. Uh, not taking a ton of new clients on, but happy to uh, help a couple more guys. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, specific things you want me to cover for your game, drop a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching.